Okay, hello and good morning. I need to add to the geometry, so let's take a look here. There's something called a central angle. A central angle is defined by the center of the angle being the center of the circle. So this angle right here starts in the middle of the circle. And the angle and the arc are the same. Very simple. They're the same. Okay, so if this is 30 degrees, this is 30 degrees. Okay, this is called a minor arc. A minor arc is less than 180. Okay, this one right here, A, C, B, is bigger than 180, and it's a major arc. Okay, so a major arc requires three letters. A minor arc requires two letters. Now, here they want you to find this major arc. So I'm going to use a different color. So they want you to go from here all the way around this way to here. Well, the whole circle is 360 degrees. So you would take 360 minus 30, which is what this one is right here, and you would get 330 degrees. So to answer these questions, Arc AB has a measure of 30 degrees. Now, that is not the actual length. See, there's a difference between the measure of the arc and how long the arc is actually, or how long it actually is. So if you want to figure out how long it is, then you've got to use a different formula. You've got to use a fraction times pi times diameter. You see, pi times diameter is really circumference. And circumference is the distance all the way around. Okay, But we don't want to go all the way around. We only want to go from here to here. So if you want to figure out this right here, you need to use this formula here. Now, you see how the measure is 110 degrees? So the angle is also 110 degrees. Remember, the angle and the arc have the same measure. All right, so you're going to put 110 out of 360. That's your fraction times pi, which is 3.14, times the diameter. And the diameter of this circle is going to be 8 plus 8, which is 16. So... To work this, you want to divide last. Now, you don't have to, but that's what I would suggest. So take a look here. We're going to take 110 times 3.14 times 16, press equals, and then divide by 360. Don't forget to divide. So this distance from here to here is equal to 15.4 inches. Okay? Now, let me explain this again. The measure is 110 degrees, but the actual length, how long it is, is 15.4. Make sure you understand that. All right, there's something called radian measure. All right, now, we don't use radian measure too much, but they do want you to know a little bit of it. So let's say they give you 5 over 4 pi. You know it's radian measure because it's written in pi. So the pi goes at the top. So it's 5 pi over 4. And then you want to multiply by this right here. This converts it to degrees. So if you multiply by 180 over pi, the pi is canceled. So if you take your calculator and you take 5 times 180, divide it by 4, then you get 225 degrees. Okay, so if they give you radian measure, you have to convert it to degrees. And how do you convert it? You use 180 over pi. So write that down, convert. Okay, now some of you might be thinking, well, what is a radian? Now, I don't want to get into this too much, but I want you to look here. Degree is what we use. The distance around a circle is 360 degrees. The distance in radian measure 
the distance is called 2 pi. Okay? Now, some kids are still like, well, what does it mean to be a radian? And here's what the definition online says. One radian is the angle, let me just draw this, is the angle right here, this angle, from the center of the circle, which intercepts an arc, so it intercepts this arc, that has the same length as the radius. So if the radius is 5, um, then if this arc has a length of 5 inches, let's say, then that would be considered 1 radian for this. 1 radian is 180 divided by pi, which equals about 57 degrees. Take your calculator and divide that, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Watch. 180 divided by pi is about 57 degrees. Okay? So if it's 2 radians, then you would multiply by 2. All right, so let's move on off of that. And there's one more thing I have to show you here. All right, again, you have to convert this to degrees. And I did. I just did it. So it's 225 degrees. Okay? So to figure out the length from here to here, which is a major arc, you would take 225 over 360 times pi times diameter. Okay? The diameter, you would have to know what that is. So I'd have to tell you something like 7, therefore the diameter would be 14. All right? There's one more called area of the sector. So draw this diagram. Area of sector. Now pay attention to this one and put a couple of stars by it. Here's how you do this. All right, first of all, do you see the measure is 120 degrees? So that means this angle here is 120 degrees. Now pay attention to this. Here's how you do it. You first figure out the area of the whole thing. The whole thing like a slice of pie. So you would take 120 over 360 times pi radius squared. That's the area of the whole thing. Okay? Now, you want to subtract this triangle out of here. So minus the triangle. And every triangle is one-half base times height. Now, this one is kind of hard. I'm not going to lie to you. All right, so what you got to do is take out this triangle here. And this triangle has a 120-degree angle. But if you drop an altitude here, because we need the height of that, we're going to put an X right there. We need that. We know that this is 11 right here. Okay? So that would make this one 11 as well because it's a radius, okay? So now we still have to get the base and the height, all right? So you, you're like, well, how do you do that? Well, the whole triangle is 180. If you subtract 120, you get 60. That makes this one a 30. So what you have is a 30, 60, 90 triangle, basically. All right, so you're going to do trig to figure out x and y. And you're going to double the y to get the base. Okay, I told you it's kind of complicated. Anyway, so you're going to stand here. To get x, it's going to be opposite over hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is 11. So that's going to be the sine of 30 degrees is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So x, which is the height, is going to be 11 times the sine of 30 degrees. That's your height. All right, but you got to get your base. The base is adjacent over hypotenuse, so that's cosine. So this one right here, let me move this up, would be the cosine of 30 degrees, which equals adjacent over hypotenuse. So y 
is equal to 11 times the cosine of 30 degrees. But you need to double that. You see, you got two of them to make the base. So you got to multiply this by two. So in essence, right here where it says base, you're going to put all of this, or rather the height. That's your height right here, x. And then the base is going to be all of this. And I told you it was complicated. And uh, that's going to be the hardest ones you do. Okay, so if you get to that, you can't do it, skip it, and we'll take another look at it. All right, thank you so much. And uh, your assignment's right here, page 442, 16 to 26. And I'll see you in class.